Geographic distribution. What is geographic distribution? Geographic distribution is the natural arrangement of numerous forms of animals and plant life in different regions of the earth. Evolutionists believe the main six possible solutions to why geographic evolution occurred is one, climate conditions. For instance, cer certain animals can only survive in jungles, but cannot survive in arctic tundra, grasslands, or the deserts. Two, adaptive radiation. The likelihood of a group of animals to evolve in result to selective pressures and adapt to their environments differently. Three, the Lebanese principle. When people interact and select mates from a larger group, their ethnic characteristics are stabilized. Subgroups are then formed. When there are many people with the same characteristics, p patterns will become similar throughout the small group. The reason being excessive interbreeding. Four, the hardly Winberg principle. This principle states that allele and genotype frequencies in population will remain constant from generation to the next in absence of other evolutionary influences. Five, the evidence, the evidence of species migration. Fossil evidence in indicate that in some time in the past, life form has existed in different locations where they are not found today. Six, genetics. Genetic drift can produce changes from one species into another by changing the organism's genetic makeup. Now, conditions that where the hardly windbreak principle does not apply. One, the genetic drift. When populations are small and some individuals leave the population, this reduces the frequency of certain alleles in the population. Two, gene flow and migration. When Organisms migrate from one population to another. This can affect the distribution of alleles in both populations. Gene flow can also occur when individuals from two populations mate without moving. 3. Mutation. Mutation allows organisms to, to adapt to change as new alleles are formed. The mutations that affect evolution are gene duplication, cytogenes, and polypody. 5. Natural selection can only occur if there is a variation in the gene population. Some changes in the environment will result in individuals with alleles that code for traits that suit the new environment, so that it will be more fit to survive. The last one, extinction. Certain populations no longer exist anywhere. Extinction is caused by factors such as loss of habitat, loss of food source, and environmental change. Two important terms to remember in geographic distribution is microevolution and macroevolution. Microevolution is a smaller scale to measure any change in the population, such as change in frequency of alleles in a population resulting from genetic drift, gene flow, and natural selection, or mutation. Macroevolution refers to the evolutionary change at or above the species level. This can mean that a totally new species forms or a, that a species can change into another species over time. In the image above, there are four different species of animals listed. The giant armadillo lives in North America. The giant anteater lives in South America. The giant pegolin lives in Africa. And the spiny anteater lives in Oceania. All these organisms have sm similar characteristics while not being related. This process, which certain organisms have similar characteristics, like another species, is called natural selection. Natural selection is a process that only occurs when there is a variation in the gene population and the environment will result in organisms with alleles that code for a trait that suits the new environment so that it will be more fit to survive in a similar environment. All these species above have similar body shapes and f facial features, yet differ in smaller characteristics. For example, the giant anteater and the spiny anteater have long noses, like the giant armadillo and giant pangolin have thinner noses than the others. The giant armadillo and giant pangolin have scales on their back, whereas the giant anteater and spiny anteater have more fur on their back. These four species prove that geographic distribution has occurred. Another important topic to know about geographic distribution is the biogeographic zones. Over time, scientists were able to identify six different biographical zones. 
One, the New Arctic. North America from Mexican highlands on the south to Arctic islands and Greenland in the north. There are examples of animals that are found here are the caribou, the muskrat, rattles, and the rattlesnake. North American animals are closely related to those found in the eastern Asia, and some species are most likely identical. 2. The Polar Arctic. Europe and Asia, south to North, North Africa, Afghanistan, Parasia, and Humilis. Uh, examples of animals that are found here are the hedgehog, the antelope, wolves, bears, and moles. 3. The Neotropical. South America, Central America, the Mexican lowlands, and the Caribbean islands. Examples of animals found here are the llama, the pecoraries, the sloth, the armadillo, and the fourth uh, zone is the Ethiopian. Uh, Africa, so the southern part of Arabian uh, Madagascar, and other islands off the coast of Africa. Examples of similar animals found here are the African elephant, the rhinoceros, the lion, chimpanzee, and gorilla. The fifth, the fifth zone is Oriental, Asia south of Himalayas, India, and all of the South e East Asia and islands, nations east of it. For example, the Philippines. Examples of animals found here are the Indian elephant, the Indian rhinoceros, the old world monkeys, baboons, and orangutans. And the last category zone is the Australian. This includes Australia, New Zealand, Oceania, so the Pacific Islands, and Tasmania. Examples of species found here are the birds of paradise, tree frogs, and tauturas. In conclusion, geographic distribution is used to show evidence of evolution over time and is used to show that species and plant life have evolved even after the continents have spread but only now exist in certain regions of the planet.